one of the like air thingies above head wasn't it like wasn't blowing very hard and I just felt like I need more air Good morning! Good morning, guys. We are loving having our dining room table up here. I've been doing my vest at the dining room table every day, twice a day, and I'm really loving it. Which, <coughs> which is pretty unusual. Like, Mary's always been a do the vest on a bed or the floor kind of person. Right. And this has just been working out for you. Yeah, and we it's nice and cozy warm up here. And I guess I just like think of doing my vest at a dining room table feels like chilly or something, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> it's nice and warm. But anyway, good morning. What? Do you have a pass with cold dining room tables? Or I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm imagining it downstairs, and maybe yeah. I sat at it once and I was cold. That room's kind of cold down there. Yeah. Anyways, good morning. He's working on the vlog. Yeah. So. You guys have already seen that vlog because this goes up after that vlog. Wow. It's riveting. Inception. But here's a message for you guys today. You got this. Wow. That was for dramatic effect. I turned it off, but then I realized it's totally not done. I went on Amazon and I bought myself a little fan because we have a flight coming up and last time I was on a flight so I thought next time I'm gonna bring myself a fan and that's what I did and I'm pretty glad about it I also already talked to the company that I rented the portable oxy oxygen concentrator from last flight and they're already ready for my next flight coming up so everything's coming together for our upcoming trip and I'm pretty excited about it. Another random reason that I'm excited to have this table in here was when we were talking about bringing the dining room table up, I thought, oh babe, maybe I could bring my sewing machine upstairs. The first like six months that we were married, I had my sewing machine out and I used to just like sew these little projects, like little drawstring bags and stuff. I am not a sewing machine genius at all. Um, my mom, however, has made me many, many things that I love and use daily. Um, one of which, this was my request. The pattern for this girl was supposed to have hair, but I liked her without hair. And so my mom was like, okay, I'll make it for you. And I just love her so much. But anyway, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. You're, you might be saying, why in the world are you talking about this doll that your mom made and Skillshare? So the other day, I was sitting right here at this table talking to my mom, and she was mentioning, oh, there's a, there's a sewing pattern of a tote bag that I'd really like to try to sew. And there's this video that talks about the tote bag, how to sew it, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it's on Skillshare. And so I just sat here, went on Skillshare and searched. And sure enough, the same creator, uh, this sewing creator, uh, has a couple of different classes on Skillshare. And so I was so excited to be like, mom, you can do those classes on Skillshare. Anyway, thank you very much Skillshare for partnering with the Fry Life yet again. Skillshare is an online class Portal. This is my attempt. How do we say it? Portal? <laughs> it's a portal. It's a whole world on the internet. Platform. It's a platform where you can literally search for anything. And I think I might try, once we bring my, my sewing machine up, I'm probably going to try... One, I need to hem the curtains from downstairs. And... Yeah. And um, I might try other projects. Like my mom is like way nifty in doing this sort of thing. This fabric was something we bought from Scotland. Oh, but anyway, um, 
Yeah, it looks like there's a ton of sewing classes. I just did a search while you were talking yeah. about it, like all the different sewing classes. And uh, there's all kinds of, from technology to design to business, like I think there's over 25,000 classes on there where you can get, uh, for you guys, they're offering the first 500 people who sign up with our link will get two months free of their premium membership, which gives you access to all the classes and you they're all video based and interactive with projects and that sort of thing and if you're watching youtube you you're probably a video based mind i learn best by watching it happen rather than like reading a pattern or something so video based is like i'm all for it so it's in a pretty cool accessible platform and that that's one of the things we've loved about partnering with skillshare is just uh sharing this platform that many people who can't get out of the house or go to a school or a college or whatever it is to learn a new skill you can do it through the crazy thing of technology even if you are a stay-at-home mom and you have kiddos taking a nap and you have like a 30 minute 20 minute time block or if you're in the hospital so many options the options are endless so thank you skillshare for being a partner of the fry life and i guess i need to find your sewing machine i think i know exactly where it is down in the basement. <laughs> we are getting ready to head out the door now. As I mentioned, I think on Monday, Peter's been preparing this week for a funeral, which is tomorrow. It's a family friend who passed away and it's feeling reminiscent of a few years ago, almost exactly this time when we were um, also preparing for a funeral for another friend. And it's just a stark reminder that life is full of many things. Life comes and goes. And that's true in our lives, in those who we love, in our friends, in our family. And as humans, we need to be ready to mourn with those who mourn and rejoice with those who rejoice. And so, today and tomorrow are gonna to be focused on um, supporting our friends as much as we can. And so with that, I'm gonna turn this camera off. I'm gonna leave you guys here and we will see you when we get back. Hey guys, we just got home and I'm going to make us some um, steak tacos for dinner. We got like this strip steak and I'm gonna slice it up and fry it up in the pan with taco seasoning. And I wonder if we have taco shells. Maybe we'll do like tortillas. Oh, maybe I should make some rice. That'd be good. Rice and steak and salsa. Yum. Okay, steak is sizzled up. Rice has 12 minutes left. I chopped up some of our salad lettuce and we didn't have any shredded cheddar so I used our slices of ch cheddar put it in a ball and then shredded it. So that worked. <laughs> oh. Okay, now you can go on top. Hi buddy. Were you under the covers? I needed him to come up to the top so that I could bed. <laughs> Thanks for making the bed, honey. We uh, got back from the church a little while ago. Uh, Mary had worship team practice. And uh, here's a little clip from that. Because there's a crack in between the. Yep. Okay. God bless you. All right, bed is fixed. Got it. No. <laughs> I don't know, cold air comes in through. Yes, yeah, There's true. a space in between the headboard and the mattress. So. Check. Check. All right. We're pretty. 
pretty done for the day. Yeah, I've, I'm still working on finishing up my message for the funeral tomorrow, and um, yeah, it's not an easy thing to no. uh, speak to people who are walking through grief, and yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, in many ways it's like a privilege to be able to do that, but um, I'm kind of working on trying to do it well. Do it well and do it briefly and right. um, speak hope and truth. And right. so that's what I'm working on finishing up. I'll probably be up a little bit longer, but we're going to say, as always, as always we, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night, you guys. Good night, Ollie boy. Good night.